Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is how to solve for minimum and maximum vertices in lines of symmetry. So, a line of symmetry is a point about which a function is symmetric. So I'm going to consider as an example a function y of x is equal to x minus 3 squared plus 2. Now I can tell from the standard form that the vertex is going to be located three points away from the origin to the right in the positive x direction and two points in the positive y direction. So just from looking at this form alone, I have one, two, three, and then one, two. So that's where my vertex is. The line of symmetry is x is equal to 3, because if I extend that line and then I plot this function, it's a quadratic equation here, a quadratic polynomial, and the function is symmetric about this line. So another more general way to determine whether this is a minimum or maximum, if you were given this function, a function that is quadratic, and you weren't sure whether it was a maximum or minimum, is to use calculus. So if you take the first derivative of y with respect to x and set it equal to zero, then you can solve for the vertex. And to determine whether it's a maxima or a minima, in this case it was a minima, you can take the second derivative and see whether it's positive or negative. If it's positive, that means that it's going to be a minima. If the second derivative is negative, that means it's a maxima. So let's use calculus to determine for this particular example where the location of the vertex is and whether it's a maxima or a minima. So if I take the derivative of y with respect to x, I have the derivative with respect to x of x minus 3 squared plus 2. This is a constant, so it goes away. And the derivative with respect to x of this first part of the equation is going to be equal to 2 times x minus 3. If I set that equal to 0, I can cancel out that 2 and I find that x is equal to 3. That's exactly the x position where the vertex lies. Then if I just plug this into my original equation, I have y of 3 is equal to 3 minus 3 squared, which is just 0, plus 2. So I get y at position 3 is equal to 2. And that's exactly where my vertex lies at the coordinate 3 comma 2. Now I just have to determine whether the vertex is a maxima or minima, so I take the second derivative, I differentiate this once more, so the derivative with respect to x of dy dx is going to be equal to d dx of 2 times x minus 3 and that's going to be equal to just positive 2. So because it's positive, I know it's a minima. And that means that my curve will only increase away from the line of symmetry at x equals 3, where the first derivative was equal to 0. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is how to solve for minima and maximum vertices in lines of symmetry.